Hello, uh, good afternoon to, to you all. Uh, you're welcome to our session for today. And this is our very first uh, meeting for the June tuition. And uh, it is not a, a session to teach, it's just to engage with you. So you get to know what is ahead and what to expect. So let's do some introductions. Uh, I will start. My my full name is Adam Agbate and uh, your tutor for Strategic Business Reporting, SBR. I'll be your guide throughout the period of the semester. And then hopefully you all do well to pass uh, first time. I want you to introduce yourself. Uh, if it's possible, you can turn on your camera so we get to see you. So you, you let us have your full name, your place of work, and uh, maybe your location, and your expectations uh, for the semester and uh, your commitment. So starting with uh, uh, Sylvester. Sylvester, please, uh, let's hear from you. Thank you, Mr. Adam. Uh, my name is Sylvester uh, Zagu. I work with uh, CAG, the controller and accountant general. Okay. Uh, and Sylvester, unfortunately, we can't see you. Oh, okay. Your camera is not showing well. Uh, I think it's the... Uh, Please, can you see That's fine. You now? go ahead. Yeah, my name no, is Sylvester. But you go ahead. Yes. Yeah, my name is Sylvester. I, I work with a controller and accountant general. Currently, I'm in the OT region. Okay. And uh, this is not my first time of the SBR. This is my second time. And I'm hoping that... Uh, I think the first time I was not too much available. The work schedule was so heavy. And this time, I think I'll be able to put in more efforts so that I'll be able to make the, the pass. Uh, okay. Thank you. Mm. OK. That's fine. Uh, thank you, too, for uh, joining us again. Uh, Dominic, yes, let's hear from you. Hi. I am good afternoon. My name is Dominic Osei. And um, yes, I I work with the pages gave you Yeah, I'm the group Apex accountant, I'm also a finance and a patient. And um, yes, I'm hoping to add it here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, good to have you, Dominic. Uh, Dorian. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Hi. Good afternoon. Yes. So, my okay. name is Dorian Abaishen. I work with Pricewaterhouse Coopers Ghana. Uh, I'm right here in Accra. And then, talking of my expectation for this paper. That is to um, get a first time pass for SBR. And then I hope to achieve this by watching all the videos that would actually be given to us within the week and also to solve the corresponding um, questions in the revision kits. Thank you. Great. Uh, that's, that's a good one, uh, Doreen. And I'm um, I'm hoping that uh, your other colleagues would, would pick up from uh, your your experience that you have shared with us. Uh, uh, Victor, yes, Victor. Yes, good morning. I just came in, so. All right, uh, we are introducing ourselves. So you tell us your full name, your place of work or where you are at the moment your expectations and your commitment for the June sitting. 
Okay, good afternoon. My name is Victor Y. Mende. I am working with the Gambia Revenue Authority under the Customs Department as a Customs Auditor. Currently, I am in Ghana for the studies and the commitment is all about me being able to complete my ACC studies. That being said, that's why my department sent me all over here to in order to have the time to dedicate all my time towards the studies. So the expectation is having a breath, a deep understanding of the subject area in order to give me an edge over my work. Great. Great. So yeah, you're welcome, uh, Victor, to Ghana, and then also to study with the Williams. And uh, we always say that for us, we pride ourselves in uh, service uh, excellence, our delivery, and uh, we hope that your other colleagues, uh, there were several colleagues from Gambia who have studied with us, and even some are still in Gambia and studying with us. So it, it's all about work, 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 and you would be able to finish your papers in good time so you can return. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Prince, uh, I don't know if you have heard uh, what I said about the introductions. Yes, please. All right. So let's hear from you. Well, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, uh, please hold on. Please hold on. Uh, Hold on, Sylvester, one of your lines is giving me a feedback. If you can turn off your audio, just mute it. One is giving me a feedback. OK, thank you so much, Sylvester. All right, uh, Prince, go ahead. Hello, so yeah, my name is Prince Teacher Mensa. Um, I am a mineral engineer who is trying to study accounting. So basically, I'm here to get deeper knowledge and then help me pass the SBR course and also continue to finish the ACCA program as well. OK, great. All right, yes. so at the session, and I'm hoping that you would have a, a good uh, basis to start with. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing my uh, video and then share my slide. Please confirm if you can see my slide. Yes, please, we can see your slide. All right. Yeah, we can see. Good. Uh, overview, we want to look at introduction, which we have done. How do you maintain consistency and discipline in your studies? How to get the best out of your online assignment, progress report, uh, study groups. Then I'll go on to look at the specific areas of SBR and also the ACC support resources. We have the uh, June exam and en entry deadline. And then the March 2023 results, what next event, which we'll be having later. So. We've done an introduction, so I'll move on. Maintaining consistency and discipline in your studies. Uh, this has been a, a key issue for us over the period. And uh, my advice, my personal advice is that the whole ACCA journey is, is a big project if you want to look at it. It's a big project. It requires a lot of commitment from you. It requires a lot of dedication. It requires a lot of hard work from you if you want to be successful. And not only passing your exams, but acquiring the technical knowledge which is needed for the profession. Now, we will be starting the session officially from Monday, but 
will issue you a, a letter sequence which will guide you and i will do that uh, tomorrow evening but on the main portal all the videos have been grouped into weeks so for week one you get to see the number of uh, videos you have to watch now when you get the lecture sequence or even the uh, portal the listed videos under week one if there are five or six videos it means that each day of the week you must plan how to watch those videos are you going to watch each video a day or two videos a day you must plan to execute this for us we we know that if you spend at least an hour a day watching the videos you it will go a long way to prepare you for the exam so what it means is that, that each day of the week you must do or watch a video you don't leave any day out from now to the next two months ahead of us it's about dedicating enough time to your studies. Yes, there is work, there's family commitment and so on. There again, we have added the ACCA to it. And we can't lose count of this as well. So the same dedication we give to our work, the same dedication we give to our family, if you want to pass the exam, you must give similar dedication to your studies. And I've always said that if you have 24 hours, part of which is taken by your sleep and work and family, if it will require that you reduce your sleeping time, please do it. Because at the end of the day, the qualification is worth the sacrifice. Otherwise, you'll be on this and get frustrated. I always believe that the ACCA is not beyond anyone to do. You can do it from whichever background you can do it. All it takes is attention. All it takes is discipline. All it takes is consistency. You must do it every day, every day till you finish the exams. Otherwise, you want to leave it for two weeks, one week to the exam. Trust me, you have no chance. You have no chance. Now, uh, your books. We often recommend a BPP and uh, by now you should have your books, uh, your workbook, your revision kit. Otherwise, you contact the admin and get your copies. How do you get the best out of your online studies? Unlike the typical classroom uh, setup where you meet your tutor, you have your table, chair you sit on and listen. Now it's a video you have to watch. It requires a complete mindset, a, a shift in your attention, a different sort of focus. Now, what we advise is that in your mind, it should be as though you, you are in classroom listening to your tutor. So get a table and a chair sit. Watch on a laptop or desktop or even a tablet. Avoid using your phones. I mean, and the reason we say that is just to avoid distractions, maybe call coming in or messages. And as you watch the video, uh, try as much as possible to put your phone on silent. Because the videos require your full attention. Now, another guide I want to give is that for each video you are going to watch, I mean, the technical content, not the other uh, support uh, videos, the, the technical content. There's a syllabus for each of these topics and then a syllabus guide. Now, in the syllabus guide, there are questions set out. And I'll give you an example. If you take a topic like conceptual framework, 
there is a clear objective in the syllabus guide on what to achieve from learning this topic. And to summarize this briefly, if you are going to watch a video on conceptual framework, you must clearly know at the end of the video what a framework is and how different it is from the IFRS or the IAS. You must also know the general purpose for financial reporting. Where do we report? You must know the qualitative characteristics of financial information, which is a key part of what we do as accountants. You must know the elements, the elements of financial statement, asset, uh, liabilities, equity, income, expenses, and so on. And you must know how all of these elements are related, are linked. Please, I'm getting a bad feedback. If your audio is on, please mute your audio. I mean, it's a basic protocol. Once you join, please keep your audio on mute. OK. Now, the elements are very important to us understanding the whole of reporting. Because for each transaction, we must identify which element it relates to. Then we have recognition criteria in the framework. We also have the measurement basis in the framework. Very important. Then we have representation. Where do we place the item? Then the related disclosures, which is the final leg of the reporting. So the framework set out all of these details. So after watching a video on framework, you must be able to reflect and answer these questions. Or ask yourself, do I know what the framework is? Do I know the general objective of reporting? Do I know the qualitative characteristics? Can I explain it comfortably? And so on. If you are not able to do this, it means that you have not been able to what? Get the knowledge from the video. It means you have to watch the video again. And the good thing about the video or the online is that, unlike the classroom where it's very intense at the end of the lecture, that ends it. You have to depend on your memory. The video, you can always go back. There's no restriction on the number of times you can watch the video. You can watch as many times as you can. Those of you who have been with us for the face to face over the years, you know how intense it can be. But the online, that it offers a lot of flexibility. So please take advantage and use it to pass your exams comfortably. Now, my advice again is that as you watch the videos, you can pause to take notes. Pause the video to take summary notes. And I do that a lot in the in, in the videos. I I write a lot in the notes. You can pause and write those as well. And it is very good for your, your revision. You can use diagrams, mind maps to summarize what you have uh, studied. So uh, here are a few guides for you to uh, follow on as you progress or as you are about to start uh, your studies with us. Assignments, we we have assignments for each week and we'll give you notice uh, ahead of the issue of the assignment. They are compulsory, you must do them. The assignments are going to serve as the basis for your progress reports. And the other benefits of the assignment is that you are able to practice on the practice platform. So you are familiar with the platform. You can navigate your way around the platform. And then that can also help you uh, test yourself under exam condition because all the assignments are timed. And because I'll be marking these assignments, you get a feedback on your progress. 
you get to identify which areas are your strengths and where your weaknesses are so you can improve or go back to watch those videos. And sometimes specifically I say go and watch this video or that video. But if you haven't done any work throughout the week, how can you do the assignments? And I, I, I don't often uh, like or I'm not comfortable where you don't do any work from Monday to Friday and you want to do all the work over the weekend, watch all the videos over the weekend. That, that, that can be, uh, I mean, demanding. How is your brain going to absorb all of that? But when you do it over time, within the week, you're able to have time to reflect. And if there are difficult topics, you can use the weekend to what? To revise and get the understanding. Then you do the assignments. That's how you plan. And, and I've always said that it's not that you don't have the time. Yes, there's work. But when you plan, you make the time. When you are committed, you make the time. So you know your shadows, how your work activities are. Is it that you wake up at dawn and do maybe two hours before you leave for work? Or you leave to the office and do at least an hour before work starts. Or maybe just after work, you can stay back and do an hour before going home. Or maybe you are a late night person, you can study late in the evening. You must find what suits you. And like I said, it is daily. It is routine. Otherwise, you have no chance. You have no chance of passing the exam and you will be struggling, not knowing what the problem is. But it is because you are not making time to study and prepare for the exam in the right way. So that's it about assignments. Progress report, uh, we'll issue a progress report to you by via email. And sometimes your employers who are sponsoring your ACCA will request to have your progress report. And the progress report covers uh, your attendance at meetings like this. Uh, it covers your attendance at face-to-face -face meeting. It covers your, your number of videos you have watched so far. And then it also covers your assignment scores. The scores you had from the assignment that you have uh, attempted. Now, the progress report in the future when you come back to us that you want us to issue a reference letter for you, will follow on the progress report. We want to look at your engagement. What have you been able to do whilst you were studying with us? If it's empty, then it's difficult to issue you a reference. So let's take note. Now, study groups, formation of study groups, now, you are all at various locations, some are outside Ghana. So please, you can have online study groups where you meet via uh, Microsoft Teams or any other medium to discuss talk some of the topics, some of the, uh, uh, the areas or even assignments after we have uh, released them. And for the assignment, there's always going to be a debrief of the assignment and they are going to be uploaded on the portal for you to uh, watch. So uh, the assignment that side is covered, but what is important is that you meeting maybe from time to time to discuss some of the topics, to see how your understanding could help your, your colleagues and so on. So uh, let's do well to uh, form the groups. Face-to-face -face session. We'll be having a face-to-face -face session uh, on the 15th of April. It's a Saturday. Uh, it's going to start from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at our Mamprobi campus. And this session, I'm going to solve a lot of questions. So please put it on your calendar and prepare for it. If you are not in Ghana, 
uh, we'll talk about how you can benefit as well. So uh, Dominic and those of you outside Ghana, not to worry. There's a way you join and uh, benefit as well. So when the time uh, approaches, uh, that mean we'll get in touch and then uh, plan with you how you can uh, join the session. SBR uh, specific concerns. Yes, SBR is a challenging paper, uh, but I've always said that many have passed and many will continue to pass with the right guidance uh, given. And when, once you follow the right guidance, you pass the exam. Because there's always a way how to pass these exams. Areas that you need to uh, ensure that you cover very well. Conceptual framework, I've given you indication on what the framework is and why you need to understand the framework. Then the various IFRS or IAS is very important to know. The whole SBR exam is about application of the IFRS and IAS. Is. Your knowledge, how you apply your knowledge to the questions. So you must know all the standards, the relevant standards. Then we have the uh, ethics. Now the exam structure, we have session A, which is made up of question one and two. Then question uh, three and four under session B. Now for question two, it's mainly ethics. And there is a way we answer question two. And what I do is that I tell my students that in the exam, your first question should be question two. Do question two first. Because there is a template how you answer it. And once you, you get that template, you should be able to score well on question two. I'm saying these ahead of time because I don't want you to go into the exam, finish the exam and come and tell me that, Adam, I couldn't do question two because of time. Then it's as though you have not joined my session. It's as though you, you have not studied with me. Because I'm telling from the onset that in the exam, do question two first. Because you can score well on question two. And there's a template you follow to do question two. When answering the, the ethics aspect of it. All standards to look at uh, in areas, financial instruments. Financial instruments, there are three main standards to look out for. IS32, IFRS7, IFRS9. These are detailed areas that are examined almost every sitting. We have, we have IFRS2, IFRS2 is shared based payments. Also, very interesting uh, standard. Then we have IS19, employee benefits. Also, one of the basic standards that you need to understand. We got employee compensation, is key part of uh, the accountant's. Uh, work. Then the consolidation uh, group accounts. So all the consolidation principles, you must know them. The uh, financial statement preparation, uh, PNL, uh, financial position, cash flow, you must know all of these. Just that in the main exam, we are not going to be, we are not going to be asked to prepare a full financial statement, maybe extracts. But bulk of the answers would be on the consolidation principles for each of the uh, statements, be it PNL, financial position, or the cash flow. So you must know all the principles, and they are a lot. That is why you must start and be consistent. You must revise as many times as you can. So you commit all of these to memory. IFRS 11 joined. Uh, uh, arrangement and so on. Now, there are other parts of the syllabus which are also examined. Uh, interpretation of impact of accounting standard and policy choices. And there will be professional marks awarded for your ability to interpret impact of accounting standards on financial statement, also for users. Other reporting areas integrated reporting, uh, alternative performance measures or measurement, which is the APM. We have social environmental reporting. Now, 
these are emerging areas. Uh, emerging areas, uh, we look at in terms of uh, current development or current issues. So uh, sustainability reporting is one of the emerging areas now. And please, you must know all the details or all the examinable areas on sustainability reporting, climate change and so on. So if there is environmental damage, the use of uh, input from the environment, how do we respond to the use? How do we position our organizations to ensure that there is sustainability? How do we report on these sustainable uh, uh, approaches that we have adopted as businesses, which could go a long way as part of our corporate social responsibilities? Then we have cryptocurrency, uh, digital uh, currency. How do we account for cryptocurrency? Which is also a, a big issue now for us. Organizations are accepting uh, payment in crypto. Organizations are investing their assets in crypto. How do we account for it? Then accounting natural disaster, uh, which was a major phenomenon during the COVID era. How does it affect going concern of businesses? So uh, there's a lot of current issues that we must be aware of. Now the next uh, slide I want to uh, look at is the ACCA study support resources. Now I have three links here, very useful links. The first one takes you to the platform guide, how you can access the platform. There are a number of videos there. Now, the next one talk about the uh, specimen for all the papers. So there's a link on how to assess the specimen from the practice platform. I mean, the ACCA practice platform. Now, the last link takes you to uh, support, further uh, learning support, where you can practice some word processing exercises and spreadsheet exercises. So uh, let me uh, close this slide and then take you to okay hello i hope you can hear me you can still hear me okay yeah. all right so uh the the links the first links uh is to the cb practice uh platform support so here there are a number of videos you have to watch, and uh, I would advise that you start watching them right after the uh, session. The first one is introduction to the practice platform, this one. Then how to use blank workspace. How you can assign content to yourself, how you can assess, assign questions to yourself. So we call it self-assign. Then there's another one, managing your workspace, how you can arrange uh, the exhibits, how you can arrange the response area, and also the other uh, requirements. How can you arrange all of this on the screen? So managing your workspace, very important video. Then uh, how to assess uh, marking guides and sample answers very useful videos so please make time to watch them they are very short videos very very short videos then we have the pdf version so you can download the pdf and, and read the next uh, link will take you to uh, the page which is the specimen so on this there is a link that you follow you use the link so here is the link you can use this link to assess the specimen exams for the SBR. It, this takes you to the uh, ACCA platform, but it will call for your ACCA details, your ACCA number and password before you get here. Now, the last one, very, very useful, is the further learning support for session CBs. Here, this is what I want you to do. There is a link to uh, word processing exercise. So there will be a video on how to use this to uh, uh, practice. Then how you can use a spreadsheet. 
So there's a spreadsheet exercise. It gives you some of the functionalities that are available and how you can use them in the exam. So very, very useful. Please ensure that you're able to cover these uh, between now and tomorrow. Then uh, there is another link on how to cut, copy, and paste video. In the exam, you need to know all of this, and this will, would speed up your work. How to insert a table vid video, what as well. And uh, there's another one on AFM, but if you're not doing AFM, that's it. Then the last one is your typing uh, guide. Uh, how you can give confidence with your keyboard resource. Very useful. So watch all of these videos as well. Now, let me go back to my slide. The June exam uh, entry deadline standard is 1st May. Please put it on your schedule so you don't forget. And don't leave the registration to the last day. You can get frustrated. The exam fee I checked this morning is 172. And for the late, I won't talk about it because I will encourage you to register late exam. Now the SBR we teach is international, not UK. Please ensure that when you are entering for the exam, you choose SBR International. There is a program that we often uh, have just after the exam results are released. So for the March exam results, which will be released on Monday, 17th April, uh, the session we call it ACCA exam results, what next? It's basically orientation on how you can uh, forge ahead after the results, be it a pass or a fail, how you can put yourself together and start again. And that will be on the Tuesday 18th of April. So uh, let's take note, we'll give you notices uh, uh, in, due to, in due time or in due course. So uh, just take note. So this is the end of my presentation for now. And the last thing I want to show you uh, let me ask, are we all comfortable assessing the portal? The study portal, the Duquillian study portal. Are we very comfortable? Are we all on that portal? Have you been able to Hello? Yeah. Great, great. OK, so. Uh, let me now take you to. Uh, sorry, uh, this should be. Uh, let me get the SBR. Let me just quickly get the SBR. Uh, I want to show you a number of technical articles that you should be looking at after covering those uh, topics. So for the SBR, there are a number of uh, technical articles, and these articles have been grouped into the syllabus areas. So for the syllabus area A, fundamental ethics and professional principles, there's a technical article here, accounting ethics in the digital age. You can look at it later. Then the uh, financial reporting framework, profit or loss and other comprehensive income. And then we have the conceptual framework here. So there's quite a number of uh, the technical articles here. Very, very useful. That you have to come back and then read them. Uh, with time, I'll give you some links. It's not all of them I, I would give the links for. But on your own, please do well to uh, go to the website and uh, engage with these articles. So yes, uh, any questions so far on my presentation, on my engagement with you? Any questions so far? It can be anything, it can be advice. Uh, I mean, you might have heard a lot about SBR and maybe you have some fears. You can voice it and we see how we can address it.
Yes, good afternoon. Yeah, Victor, yeah. Uh, my only concern is whilst I was doing the FAP, I was not introduced well to the cash flow. So it's one challenging area that I would need your help. No problem, no problem. And uh, you get to know that the video I prepared is uh, is very detailed. And uh, I've even taken my time to break down the principles and why do we even prepare cash flow? I mean, cash flow should be one of the easiest uh, statements to prepare that you can prepare. And it depends on how it is it, been approached. So for me, I'll give you an example. If you want to prepare cash flow statement, it's basically to look at our cash movement. What has happened to our cash from the start of the year to the end of the year. And the movement is basically coming from three areas. From your operating cash flow, from your financing and your investing cash flow. So if you take the operating cash flow, uh, the users of the financial statement want to look at your profit. How much of your profit is cash? So that's why you have to give them that session of the cash flow statement. They want to be able to assess your, prof your profit, the liquidity of your profit. So in that session, we will take the profit and adjust the profit with all non-cash expenses that have been deducted. So it means that all non-cash expenses, we have to add them back. Then you have to also look at which incomes affected profit, but they are not your, your primary activities. So for instance, if you have an investment income, which is part of your other income, flowing in into the profit, you must come back to deduct it because it's not a trading income and its place must be in investing. So these are the sort of things you need to understand. And before you put all together, then it becomes clearer. So Victor, not to worry, okay? Thank you, sir. Great, great. Any other question? Yeah, Sylvester, go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Adam. Uh, yes. in, in, in respect of the uh, the formation of the study groups. Yes. Looking at the fact that it's an online study video and uh, we are all at different places, I don't know whether you can be of any assistance to us so that. Uh, to ease us in the formation of the, the, the study groups. Thank you. All right. All right. So uh, what we will do is that uh, within the week or later in the week, uh, I'll give you guidance on how you can form it. So it's, it's very simple. So for instance, I'll put on the page uh, the name, the group, maybe the group, maybe group one. So you just copy and paste your name under which group uh, which is available. I mean, then the process continues until we have all the groups. So it's a very simple process and we'll do that. Uh, just because some are yet to join us, uh, we'd have to wait until maybe Thursday or Friday to do the grouping, okay? Okay, sir. All right. Any other question? All right, uh, if there are no questions, uh, I wouldn't want to take your time, go back and uh, engage with the resources I have uh, shown you. I'll put the PDF on the WhatsApp page. I'll put the uh, the portal, the recording of this session will be available later. And once available, uh, the admin will give you a notice on that. Now my final is, please, I'm reminding you that your ACCA journey is a big project. You can do it if you plan to do it. You can make it comfortable for yourself when you are committed. When you put in the hard work, when you are disciplined, it, it is all about sacrifice. And the qualification is a prestigious qualification to have. So please put in the work. 
put in the hard work. And with my guidance, I know you pass the exams. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.